Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz. This round is all about the people who made this year memorable. Tommy Robinson quit as head of the EDL, which is a shame, as I was just thinking about switching my gas and electric to them. <laughs> he quit because he said there were too many far-right extremists, which is a bit like giving up Grinder because you keep meeting gay men. <laughs> 17-year-old Paris Brown resigned from being Britain's first youth police and crime commissioner after tweeting about taking drugs, having sex and getting drunk. She's now head of the co-op bank. <laughs> OK, ready for more questions? Yes. Straight over to the walking encyclopedia from Pointless, Richard Osman. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, everyone. Hope you're having a good time. Now, it's a fairly well-known TV fact that because I'm Richard out of Pointless, I never get anything wrong. However, this year, the Vatican did get something wrong. They had to recall 6,000 coins they'd issued to commemorate the inauguration of Pope Francis. Why did they have to recall them? Can your teams remember the fairly major mistake that they made? OK, so the coins to commemorate the inauguration of Pope Francis had something wrong with them. What was it? Next question. Justin Bieber had a hell of a year. He punched a photographer, he had his tour bus raided, was allegedly filmed leaving a brothel in South America, even had his pet monkey confiscated by German authorities. But how did a visit to Amsterdam prove particularly controversial? <coughs> Go into all the papers, a big story. Yeah, it doesn't mean we were obliged to read it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think you'll like yeah. this one. Be there as a mech. OK. <laughs> I think you know this. Yeah. I, I don't believe I do. <laughs> I don't believe I do. <laughs> you did say that. You did. Subconsciously, so you're That's a believer. Good. We should write that down. Yeah, we'll write that down. Yeah. I, don't I don't believe it. it. And that could be a new catchphrase. I don't believe it's it. I don't Bieber. believe it. Kill Jimmy, kill Jimmy, <laughs> kill Jimmy. <laughs> Yay. OK, next question. I'm very excited to say we're going over to the one, the only, Will Ferrell. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. Now, as you know, former President George W. Bush has given me a lot of great material over the years. But even I felt a pang of sympathy for him when his emails were hacked this year. The leaks revealed he'd taken up an extraordinary new hobby. Can your teams tell me what it was? No, that's Team. wrong. That's it's entirely... correct. It's not only wrong, it's probably libelous. It's not. <laughs> I do the politics questions, you do the silly Justin Bieber <sighs> ones. That's how we work the dynamic. OK, next question. MEP Godfrey Bloom caused embarrassment for UKIP this year after a string of high-profile gaffes. Can you name one of his gaffes? No, what do you do? Oh, yeah. OK, final question. Dame Helen Mirren hit the headlines for doing something rather unexpected while dressed as the Queen. What was it? Oh, yeah. What? Yes. That is not what happened. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> I, I would do that. She would have woken up. <laughs> OK, has everyone right. got something? We'll go for the answers. First up, Richard Osman asked you what mishap befell the set of commemorative coins produced for Pope Francis this year. Did you know? Yep. Yes, they were okay. chocolate coins. <laughs> OK, Dara, Kristen? I thought the worst thing that you could give um, them would be melted-down Wiccan nickels. <laughs> so a, wi a Wiccan nickel? A Wiccan nickel yeah, melted would be down a... into the the so a witch's witch is Oh my god, can I just say that photo looks like baby George all grown up. <laughs> that is real. What's on the background? Is he going through a stargate? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Richard, no. They had condoms on them. <laughs> all the coins had condoms on them. <laughs> So no one got that. I can tell you the answer. The answer was 6,000 coins had to be recalled because they said Lesus instead of Jesus. <laughs> is is, is Lesus the, the lizard Jesus? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> lizard Jesus, yeah. yeah. Ah. Next up, I asked you what Justin Bieber did in Amsterdam that proved particularly controversial. Did anyone know? Well, Jonathan just put yeah. Anne Frank. Anne Frank. Yeah, I but the question he... was, what did he do? <laughs> We need to elaborate there. He went to the Anne Frank Museum and he signed in the book saying, I think Anne Frank would be a believer. No, no, no. Please give poor Justin Belieber a chance. He said, I do hope she might... What, I wonder if she might have been a believer, which is not necessarily a bad thing to wonder, especially if, as he probably was, you're off your fucking tits on marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> a friend of mine went to Amsterdam and took some magic mushrooms and went to the Anne Frank Museum and thought it was like an interactive thing where it was like, <laughs> where's Wally? And then he was going to rip off one of the radiators because he thought he heard someone behind it, but it's not embarrassing because, as I say, it happened to a friend of mine. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
Kristen. Kristen, do you know this one? I do know, yeah. It's just what Jonathan said. He, he said Anne Frank would love him. You know, he thinks Anne Frank would, would have loved him. And, and I think that's really beautiful. And for people who are like, that's so gross, it's like, what, how do they know what she would have loved? Like, she'd be like a Bright Eyes fan or something? <laughs> Well, it's a, it's a fine and complete answer. Noel and Richard. Anne Frank stuff. <laughs> that is good enough from you. What happened was he visited Anne Frank's house and wrote in the guest book. Truly inspiring to be able to come here. Anne was a great girl. Hopefully, she would have been a believer. Well, that's fine. It's fine. Also, come on, he was like 16. If my son, when he was 16, went to Amsterdam and I found that he'd gone to the Anne Frank Museum, I'd be fucking amazed. <laughs> 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 oh, there's a lot else to do in Amsterdam. Yeah. It's a good point. That was the most proud I've been to be British this year. Because, like, last year we had the Olympics, we had the Royal Wedding, like, National Pride was at an all-time high, and I thought we were never going to get that again. And then in February, Justin Bieber came to this island, and within four days, we broke the fucker. <laughs> proud of ourselves. You should be proud of yourself. <laughs> And next up, Will Farrell asked you what extraordinary hobby George W. Bush was revealed to have taken up. Anyone get it? Yep. He yep. wrote the wrong thing. No, stalking, and then I put dash, deer, not women. So, because <laughs> he's a hunter, he likes hunting, so it's, he was stalking deer. It's, an, it's a practice where you follow deer around. That's not the answer. You could not be more wrong. He paints <laughs> portraits of himself yeah. and of dogs. And he's actually not that bad, and okay. I just wish he would have believed in himself and had enough confidence to become an artist before he got into his presidential phase. He'd <laughs> <laughs> only really given it a go. Right. You know? So it's it's a, same with Hitler to a certain extent. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you just stuck with the painting. How uh, <laughs> much could he have done? You know? Yeah. He painted some portraits of himself in the bath, didn't he? In the bathroom. Oh, that, that's very specific. Let's have a look at some of the paintings. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's a pretty good dog. I mean, that is a grown man that was the most powerful man in the world that did that, so well done. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty fucking cool. That's all right. That's all right. I give him, yeah. No, this one's better. This, one, this next one. Look at that. <laughs> Who's that in the mirror? Oh, Who's he that in the mirror? Back, Chris Hewn in prison. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, next up, I asked you if you could name one of Godfrey Bloom's gaffes this year. How did you get on? He called women one of the uh, sort of breakout meetings at uh, UKIP's party. He referred to women as sluts. Uh, that, that, that is one of the things yeah. he did. Uh, Jack, Jonathan? He was, he's the bongo bongo man as well, isn't he? Yeah. He's the one who talked about oh, yeah. sending people out to bongo bongo land, and we put slut gate because we popularised <laughs> it in that way. Okay. Yeah. Noel, Richard? We put, he said something that wasn't racist. <laughs> <laughs> And then we put Bongo Land yeah. in the corner. I'm presuming the one you have, the one you have for, is, is when he hit a, he hit somebody with a catalogue. Uh, yeah. he, he hit a Channel 4 reporter with a with rolled a up brochure. Box, with a brochure, <laughs> a party brochure. That somebody pointed out there are no black faces on your montage of UKIP supporters. <laughs> so he thought about it for a second and weighed up the pros and cons of, of the event. Just hit him. Hit him. <laughs> he hit him over the head and called him a racist. Let's have a look. Oh, Mr. 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 Bloom, <laughs> what do you make of the front cover of this? Uh, your, uh, the conference no brochure with no black faces on it. After what a racist comment is that? How dare you? That's an appalling thing to say. You're picking people out for the colour of their skin. You disgust me. Get out of here. <laughs> What's appalling about racist. making that point? You, sir, are a racist. Why am I a racist for saying there aren't, you there aren't take any black this, people? And you've checked out pe the colour of people's faces. Disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> Disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> That now, that's good great. TV! That's TV. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me so much of my dad when he found out that our local news agents were stocking The Guardian. <laughs> <laughs> you bastards! <laughs> he also said uh, British aid shouldn't be sent to Bongo Bongo Land. But you know what? He is right. Because if we're sending aid to Bongo Bongo Land, that's wrong because it doesn't fucking exist. <laughs> <laughs> it's where they make Umbongo. <laughs> Final answer, final answer. I asked you what unexpected thing Helen Mirren did whilst dressed up as the Queen. Did you know? Scaring people in Madame Tussauds. <laughs> Ooh, that would be so much fun. <laughs> oh, she's doing, the show, she's doing the, whatever the place she's doing in the West End, and there are drummers drumming outside, and she left the show, mid-show. I think she was in the middle of one of the acts and said, I'll be back in a minute, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do the Queen's voice. One, one, one must turn. go and tell some drummers to fuck off. Uh, <laughs> Went outside and turned old Danny Dyer on them. 
Uh, <laughs> you fucking slaves, get here, fucking drummer, <laughs> fucking drum, you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. oh, sorry. No, Richard. I told Donna to fuck off. Yeah. Well, there's, there's a royalty show. I've got the, the direct quote, which was, shut the fuck up. People have paid fucking £100 for their theatre tickets to a group of dramas outside the theatre. Yeah, I think she had but a what if she'd point. accidentally stumbled into Stomp? <laughs> <laughs> so it's that part of the show where I introduce a mystery guest. All you have to do is guess who they are and how they made the news this year. Ladies and gentlemen, our mystery guest. <laughs> You can only ask questions that you can answer yes or no. Did you get your tights from Danny Dyer? <laughs> <laughs> no. Were you in Spice Girls the Musical? No. Congratulations. Uh. <laughs> yes, well done. Is your name Amanda Knox? <laughs> yes or no? Did you appear on television? <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Did you appear on it, um, unwillingly? No. Was live... the situation blurred? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Did you win MasterChef? No. Is it a cooking show? No. Is it, um... A performing show? Yeah. yeah. Are you the lady that operates Bruce Forsyth? <laughs> <laughs> no. So it's a big show on television, big reality Not show. Not that big. Big. <laughs> There was a news story off the back of this. It was a huge so it was a reality show, and there was a news story off the back of it because it was such an extraordinary thing that happened. Is Have you been on the do... Jonathan Rock? I know it's big show, you said. <laughs> <laughs> another, another clue would be you are you are on a show, and I think it is fair to say that you were not uh, you were not invited. <laughs> but yes, I know you threw an egg at someone. Yeah. Write down your answers. Did You've got to you? write down your answers. Oh, <laughs> <did> you? <laughs> To everyone. You didn't say. Hey, what was it again? It Jackson. Threw an, threw an egg. <laughs> yes. Threw okay. Like... Let's see what everyone put. Jack, Jonathan, you went with. We went with threw egg on Th cowl. Threw egg okay. on cowl. Richard. We and... just went with threw an egg at someone on Britain's Got Talent. Dara. Okay. Okay. Uh, threw an egg like Jack like said. Jack said. <laughs> <laughs> so tell them who you are. My name's Natalie Holt, and I threw some eggs at Simon Cowell. Yeah. 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 So... <laughs> Yeah, what's the backstory to it anyway? I never really got why you did it. Well, I just thought Simon Cowell's got too much power and influence in the music industry, so I thought I'd, I thought it'd be funny to throw an egg at him. <laughs> and you, young lady, were correct. <laughs> it was very funny. Let's have a look at your action. They are each other. They Yeah. Go ahead, Noel. Who are you marrying me? <laughs> Holy cow! I'm, I'm marrying somebody else, sorry. Oh, for ah. fuck's sake. <laughs> really good aim. You were, like, like, 30 feet away from him and you, and you got him in the head, didn't you? I got him twice. Got him how, twice. Did it, how did you get backstage and onto the stage without... Well, I was booked to mime in this backing orchestra with, the, with an act that was on the show. And I just thought, well, I could... Have help, you ever considered becoming a terrorist? Natalie <laughs> 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 Holt, everyone, give her an applause. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a quick look and see what that's done for the scores. Jack and Jonathan have nine points. Uh, Noel and Richard have 21 in the lead. Dara and Christian with 22. <laughs>